Welcome to my office. This is where I do 99% of my work. It's where I think up all the ideas for Big Nate and where I do all my drawing. This is my desk. And on my desk, I have just about everything I need to do a Big Nate strip, starting with my pad of paper. I draw on something called Bristol board. It's nice and smooth. And then my drawing tools, like my non-photo blue pencil, which is really cool. When you photocopy something in non-photo blue pencil, it doesn't show up. And then when I'm ready to ink the comic strip, I use these pens. They're color-coded because they're different thicknesses. If I happen to make a mistake, I have some tools for that too. I have a correcting pen, which is just basically like white paint that I can use to cover up a mistake. Or I can erase a mistake that I made in pencil with this, a battery powered eraser, which is kind of cool. Or if I make a really big mistake, I can patch it. And what patching means is just covering up a mistake with another piece of paper. So I have double stick tape here. And I could not do a comic strip without this. My stencil. My brother built this for me about 20 years ago. And it has four identically sized panels. So all I have to do is put this down on my sheet of paper, trace it with my blue pencil, and I'll sketch out the idea with the dialogue that I thought up. And then I'll go over it in pen. And I'm going to draw much more slowly and carefully than I did when I was sketching. This is part of making a finished comic strip. So I'm just gonna slow down because I want them to look perfect. So there's Francis. And hair is a big part of the comic strip world. Nate has his own very unusual hair and Francis does too. His hair has four bumps, four big bumps. There he is, and then he has these kind of racing stripes along the side of his head. One, two, three, four, five of them. And another feature of Francis is that he has a little gap in his front teeth, like so. And I'm going to change the way I sketched that hand. I drew it one way, but I changed my mind. I'm going to draw it a different way. And I can do that. shorts. Now I'm just going to finish up Francis's hand, which is partially hidden behind his body, fingers and thumb. And now I'll do the same for the rest of the panel. It takes a little while, so we'll speed it up for you. There, all done. That's a finished comic strip.